Hello guys. Welcome to the fourth part of this tutorial. Today we're gonna work on obstacles climbing. First select the animations we're gonna use for climbing, go to rig, change it to humanoid, then copy the player's avatar and hit apply. Extend the animation model, go to the animation hit Ctrl plus D then rename it to your liking, do it for the rest of the animations. Now drag all the animations in the animator window, then make the next parameters, then make transition like you'll see in the video. Now open the movement script, make a header call it climb parameters and add the following parameters. Create a vector 3 call it move vector, go to the move player function delete the vector 3 and keep the move vector, then in the start method get the capsule collider component.
create a function call it raycasting and call it in the update method. Make five rays and name them as follows. Four will check if there is an obstacle in front of the player, and the fifth will get the obstacle's height. The five booleans we declared earlier will be true if the ray corresponding to them hit an obstacle, and false if not. I'll draw the rays so we can see them in unity. Enter the values for the horizontal range, vertical range and the offsets, you can customize them to your likings. In the ray casting method, we're gonna check which rays are colliding with an obstacle, then according to the results we'll decide if the player can climb and which climb to perform.
make the pose y equal to hit vertical dot point dot y. This means the pose y will be equal to the obstacle's height. Now in the jump function we'll check if the player can climb, if false then we'll perform the jump, and if true we'll perform climbing. If the player can climb we'll make pose x and pose z equal to the player's position dot x and z. Then we'll disable the capsule collider and make the rigid body kinematic. Let's make another boolean call it animating. This bool will prevent the player from moving when he's climbing. Now let's check if the obstacle's height is bigger or smaller than the player's height and the climb type isn't jump over. If the obstacle's height is smaller than the player's height, we'll make the player position along the y-axis lower before climbing, and if it's bigger then we'll make jump before climbing. Now let's see which climb type to perform and and trigger the corresponding animation. Let's create the animation events functions. For the normal climb, when the animation ends we want to trigger the idle animation, make jump true, the enable the capsule collider and make the rigid body dynamic again. For the jump to hang, when the animation ends we want to lower the player y position by a value equals to capsule collider dot height divided by 4, then trigger the hang idle animation. For the end of hang to drop animation we want to unapply the animator's root motion and the rest will be the same as the normal climb end. In the end of hang idle animation, apply the animator root motion so the climbing animation can perform correctly, then trigger the hang to climb animation.
In the end of Hang to Climb animation, we'll also unapply the animator's root motion and the rest will be the same as normal climb end. Lastly for the end of jump over animation, trigger the idle animation and push the player a little in the forward direction. In the update method make climb equal to false under this condition. Now let's check if climb is true and the player input. Y is less than zero we'll trigger the hand to drop animation. Else if the player input dot Y is bigger than or equal to zero we'll continue with the hang to climb animation. Then trigger the falling animation if the player is free falling. In the move player function we'll set it so the player can't move while it's climbing. Back in Unity click on the player, go to the Animations window, select the Climb Animations and Add Animation Events, then assign the functions we created as the follow. Go to the normal climb animation and duplicate it, rename it to jump over and drag it in the animator window, then make the following transitions. Now delete this animating ball from this place, and put under these conditions instead. This should be false not true. Now make transitions from and to the falling animation. The last thing to do is to set the following animating bulls to false under this condition. And in here I made a mistake, this should be jump to hang instead. I made obstacles using the Unity 3D cube, let's check if it's working.
This is it for this video. The next video will be about crouching and sliding. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.